plane with a feline friend. The Hubble house pet could be more protected as the government looks to introduce a number of new animal welfare regulations. To me they seem quite sensible. Um, so it appears to me that they are taking a lower level of animal um, abuse, at which at the moment they can't prosecute, and that they're putting fines and regulations around that to give the Animal Welfare Act a little bit more teeth. The Ministry for Primary Industries has developed new welfare laws to better protect animals and boost the country's welfare reputation. Changes prohibit people from leaving dogs in hot cars and from drowning cats and dogs. There are also a number of rule variations around managing and transporting livestock. Several proposed restrictions carry penalties of between three and $500 for first-time offences and maximum fines of $5,000. But Pine says that's just a slap on the wrist. I personally think that that's probably a little bit too light, but I also think that perhaps educating people as well as opposed to simply just finding them is actually um, possibly a more positive way of, of going about improving the treatment of animals. She says it's a step in the right direction to becoming a cruelty-free country, but more could be done around the abandonment and de-sexing of animals. Abandonment of animals didn't seem to be in there, so people that, particularly cats, um, just abandon their cats because they're moving house and they leave it behind. Um, I've also heard anecdotally that people often do the same with dogs as well, particularly if they're renting because it's hard to find a rental property if you've got a dog. Um, so I think that could perhaps be addressed. Proposed law changes are subject to public consultation with submissions closing towards the end of next month. Annabelle Dick, 39, Dunedin News.